Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. I'm going to be sharing with you seven tips for painting outdoors with acrylic paint. Number one is to pack lightly when you're traveling outside painting, whether you're camping, you're going on a hike, you're going on a walk, you're painting at the beach or in the forest. You want to try to pack lightly so that you're not have to, having to carry a lot of items with you. It's also good to consider what you're packing so that it doesn't become too messy or become damaged. So when you're painting, you can choose to paint on a canvas board like this. It's nice and flat. It's not going to get punctured or damaged like a canvas would if you were traveling and walking around with that. You can also paint on a pad of paper, like a watercolor pad of paper. You can also get pads of paper for mixed media or specifically designed for acrylic paint. And you can get sketchbooks um, with this kind of thicker paper as well to paint on. You can also choose smaller tubes of paint. So this is from Amsterdam, their standard series. It comes in a set of a, of a variety of different colors and each tube is only 20 milliliters of paint. So it's quite small, but it's easy to, just to throw in your bag. And if I were to lose it or if it were to dry out, if the cap were to accidentally fall off in my bag, I wouldn't be too upset if I lost or wasted some of this paint. Uh, tip number two is to consider your palette and also consider the weather conditions that you're painting in. So it's great to choose an acrylic paint palette that has a lid like this to stay covered. So when you're painting, you can remove the lid, you can dip your paintbrush in the paint, and then when you're finished dipping your brush in the paint, you can put the lid back on. This will prevent any bugs or leaves from falling in the palette. If you were to drop your palette, if you're say painting outside and you set this on a tree stump or a rock and it were to fall, then at least if you have the lid on it, it's protected. With the paint palette, remember that acrylic paint does dry out faster, so you do wanna make sure that you avoid painting in full sun or on really hot days. It's better to paint in the shade or paint in cooler temperatures just to keep the paint fresh and um, last longer so that it doesn't dry out. Because if you are painting with watercolor paint outside, that's a little bit easier because if watercolor paint dries, you can just simply add more water and continue painting. Tip number three is to take a photograph of the scene that you're painting in case the weather changes. Sometimes when you're painting outside, the light can change very quickly. All of a sudden it starts storming or there's a bunch of clouds. So at least if you take a photo of whatever you're painting, you have that for reference later in case the landscape changes in a significant way. Tip number four is to use the colors of nature to inspire you. If you're painting a leaf, you can also have a sketchbook with you and try to match the colors of the leaf by holding the sketchbook up to the leaf so that you're mixing the right shade of green. So this is a great color mixing exercise to try if you're a bit, uh, if you're a beginner painter, but it's also just a great way to help you paint more realistic landscapes by trying to paint more realistic colors of those landscapes. Tip number four is to draw whatever it is you're painting in either pencil or colored chalk. I like using colored chalk because then I can erase it afterwards and continue painting. Tip number five is to pay attention to the light and the shadows as well as the perspective lines. So if you're painting a landscape and you're painting something off in the distance, then it should be smaller than whatever is happening closest to you in the foreground. So pay attention to the rules of perspective in landscape painting. You also want to remember to add shadows because that helps whatever it is you're painting look more grounded. So a tree, a flower, those are all going to have different shadows and highlights on them and that's going to make them look more realistic. And my final tip is to move closer so that you can capture whatever detail or texture that there is. So what's nice about 
working outside is that you can actually move closer. You can physically zoom into whatever it is that you're painting. You can move in closer on a flower and see those details in the center of the flower or capture the texture of the petals in a different way than you would if you were just looking at a photograph and painting from a photograph. So use that towards your advantage when you're painting outdoors. So again, my top seven tips for painting outdoors is to one, pack lightly, two, consider the temperature, the sun, as well as to make sure your palette has a lid on it and it's covered. Number three, to photograph your scene that you're painting so that just in case the weather changes, you have a nice reference photo. Number four is to sketch out whatever it is you're drawing in either pencil or chalk so that you can erase it easier. Number five is to let the colors inspire you of the landscape and try to match those colors that happen outside as realistically as possible. Number six is to pay attention to the light and the shadows, make sure that you're including those as well as making sure that you're following the rules of perspective for the landscape. And my final tip, number seven, is to capture the detail and the texture of whatever it is you're painting outdoors by physically moving yourself closer to see those details and textures and trying your best to mimic that in the painting. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel so that you can see other acrylic painting tips videos and acrylic painting tutorials. Bye, happy painting.